Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Steffi. I'm going to show you some of my handmade wired wrap jewelry. Uh, I have a bunch of rings here that I've made. These are my nails. Got the leopard ones with the beige. Let me know what you think down below. Please hit that like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what your favorite is. My favorite piece. First, I'm going to show you this ring I just got in the mail from Amazon. It's a leopard ring, rose gold. I like it. It's pretty. It's cute. I have one similar to this, but I figured I'd get another one. I love them. I like leopards. Okay, let's get started. First ring here is silver wire wrapping with a pearl in the middle. It's like a purplish pink pearl. You can put that on so you can see here. Take these rings off real quick. There's that one there. So I did like a little bit of swirl on the side there. Make it a little bit different. Next one here is a purplish stone. It is plastic with some silver wire wrapping, as you can see. Put that one on too. I was thinking of getting um, a large box of rings or making some more rings soon, but with different types of stones. This one's blue. It's a cat eye bead with the gold wire wrapping. I think I like this one the most so far. Out of this batch or this amount, this uh, amount. <laughs> I meant to say it. These ones I made lately. There's another gold one. This one's a large one. Got like a really shiny stone in the middle. I made sure that one was wrapped really good too. It's a little larger. It's sparkly. I love it. What do you think? Let me know down below. Like I like this one more than the other one. Or maybe I just like them <laughs> because I made them and I love rings. I love jewelry, as you can see. Here's a Millie Fiore. Fiore. I still have quite a few of these. I have to uh, think of some other patterns to do. Maybe necklaces and bracelets. That one you'd probably wear it the other way. Or if you want to show it off, you'd wear it like this. It's a little bit larger, too. So, yeah, it goes like that. Maybe I should lift the camera up just a little bit. So you can see better. See my candle. My little mini fireplace heater. Right there. I was going to leave that on, but it's really, really loud. I didn't want it to be too loud and you can't hear me talking. And here's one with the pink stone. I made a few of these before, the gold wrapping. These stones came from Michael's. I really like them. They're really pretty. I have some green, blue. I don't think I have any pink left. But they do have green and blues. Here I have a green abalone one. So you can see the shininess to it. I love that shine. I wire wrapped that like three or f actually four or five times. 
So five times. This one's different. I like that. I like how every single one is different and unique. Here I got one with the gemstone crystals. Of course, I put an aventurine in there. And that one, I believe, is an agate. Agate? And then the one with the different colored green and that. I'm not sure that name of that one. So I like adding, like, instead of putting one, I like to put three, sometimes four or five. So I got some more here. This one's silver wire wrapping with a really shiny rectangle it's almost like a purple color i made a few of these already i think i made one last time pretty sure i did this one's with silver i like the silver with this color it just blends good together i don't know why it just maybe it's the nails it just goes the colors together look nice that's what i'm trying to say like as if i was oh, sorry if i was with if i I meant to say, if I was to wear this ring with these nails, it would go and blend good with these nails because the colors are close together. Champagne color. Same with this ring that I was showing in the beginning. Got tongue tied there for a second. There's some more silver wire wrapping here with some stones. Light blue. And a clear quartz in the middle. Nobody's perfect. I'm trying my best. This one pops out a little bit, which is kind of cool. Yeah, if you're ever interested in anything, let me know. My email and everything is linked below. All of my videos. I'm not sure this stone. It kind of looks like a, a white howlite. A little bit but it's got little specks of dark so i like this one a lot too the stone but these are real crystals they come in a big box full this is adjustable swirled on the other side like this one i kind of like that look a lot like it just looks nice it's pretty let me know what you think down below. Silver wire wrap pink one. It's a bicone bead. See that still that kind of goes with this color too, but it's a little brighter. Let's move that there. The stone is a really sparkly champagne color, silver wire wrapping. It's really nice there. I'm going to look into buying some huge stones, like not really huge. I should say bigger and thicker ones, but not huge. Like this one, another abalone. I believe and that's gold Let's see I should make a silver one like this There's a gold one with the swirls. I can make some that fit here. So it goes right there. I actually prefer it like that. I don't know. 
What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, a couple more here left and that's it. I was thinking of making some basic ones, just plain wire wrapping with a little thing like a little dangling piece of crystal. This one's silver, obviously you can see that, but it's got the um, dents that I did the one time. I showed you guys that I dented and made a pattern and put the blue wire wrapping in the middle to make a design. So it looks like that. A little loose. That's what it looks like. And there's one more just like that, but it's gold. With the blue wire wrapping. I think I'm going to make quite a few of these in the future. So we just got to file these ends. And that's what it looks like. This one might be too big for me. Nope, it's okay. Yep, that's everything. It's all laid out here. I'll give you a, another quick look at them. Let's fix this here. I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Take it easy. Take care, guys. Bye.